am Santina Mirren for Mix 24-7 EDM, and today I'm here in Miami for Miami Music Week with Sander Van Dorn. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Your newest single is out, 500 yeah. PCM. Yeah. Right? yeah, 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 yeah. I love the music video, oh, the journey of all yeah. the years in Miami. Oh, it's and all it's these crazy, memories. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, had, we had so many, uh, so much footage over the years, and uh, you know, we thought about, you know, what are we gonna do with the track? And uh, it's kind of like a celebrating uh, track for my radio show, yes. for the 500th edition. And uh, well, the first party is gonna be, you know, this Saturday over here. Uh, so we really felt like this this needs to be a Miami track. Right. So, yeah. How did you even narrow down the, the amount of footage, too? Uh, I have a really, really good video guy. Yeah. And, uh, it took, took a week for him to just yeah. go through all the footage. And, uh, wow, yeah, a, lot he did of, an amazing a lot of job. memories, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, and um, what keeps it so exciting after coming back year after year to keep making new experiences and make more memorable moments? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, uh, I, I think this is my, my 15th time coming here to Miami. Yeah, and, um, wow. I, I, It just changed a lot over the years. Uh, uh, you know, it used to be like very, everybody had to, you know, figure it out. Mm -hmm. And you could play, um, you know, in a, in, a, in a club or at a piano bar. And right. you, know, you had this, all these gigs and you, you hustled a little bit, you know, with shows. And you met up a little, with a lot of people and um, it got a lot of context. And, and t today uh, it's got a lot more professional. Yeah. Um, you know, Ultra has got a lot more bigger as well. Right. Uh, but you, you still feel the, the, the intimacy uh, as well, you know, when oh, you good. need to. And then, uh, you know, it's just every single year, it's, it's a big treat coming here. Well, it's only my first year, so I have a long way to oh, catch wow, up. Wow. But <laughs> and you're celebrating Identity's 15 year anniversary. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. That's thank incredible. You. Yeah, I, I, I know it's crazy. Um, um, I remember the very first time I, 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 did, a, I, I did my radio show um, was for um, a, a Diet.fm. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I, I was still mixing the final. I was so nervous. It took me about a week to get the show right. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it kind of grew from then on. I went from, from a monthly to bi weekly. Uh, bi-weekly to weekly and um, yeah right now I think it's uh, wow I, I think it's around 19 million listeners every single week so soon it's, it's gonna crazy. be every day you know yeah yeah every day well, <laughs> new challenge new well, challenge for yeah, you it's, it's, uh, yeah I need to produce music as well so that's gonna be a bit of an issue <laughs> just yeah. teasing yeah. you have a lot of wonderful stuff upcoming yeah. like we you mentioned a little bit of your 500th episode yeah. will be this what, June yeah yeah yeah, so yeah you know what a um, journey yeah it's a phenomenal journey to be honest um, well you know I, I just uh, uh, became a dad um, so it was congratulations uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I had my, my daddy leave yeah now you have to wear your dad hat I know, <laughs> you I know, have to I know. change it up a little yeah, bit I, know, yeah, but, you know, I had a lot of time in the studio so I just produced the way and uh, there's so much tracks coming up uh, both for Santa Van Dorn as well as Purple Haze. Yeah. Um, I just did a show two weeks ago and uh, at uh, Transmission and, and right. Australia. I was gonna ask you about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, I, I, I think I, I played around eight new tracks or something. It's wow, like, uh, how'd the crowd respond to that? Ah, phenomenal. Is yeah. it always nerve wracking? It's, like it's, still, it you know, still at this point in the game yeah, to yeah, put I mean, something new? Yeah, and yeah, nobody knows the track. Right. So, so you, you really need to, you know, cater them with some new music, uh, but they responded phenomenally. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, that really has good. to be the most rewarding feeling. Oh, it is. I mean, is. anything really to get a response from a crowd, but yeah. when it's brand new, it's not been put out and oh, you're you know, taking a little yeah, leap. That, that's for me is, is, you know, why I wanted to become a DJ besides producer was, you know, to play out your own music yeah it's such a you know a powerful feeling you know to to you know play out your music and, and see people respond it's just crazy uh, right yeah yeah and I mean you just mentioned a little bit about the transmission festival yeah, and yeah. you're in Australia how does it feel to be putting out music under two different names with you have uh, yeah with I, I love it uh, it's uh, you know I've, I've always produced tracks on a different genres mm -hmm. and um, um, when I started producing I had a lot of aliases I'd Sam Sharp right. Sander, uh, Purple Haze as well. Purple Haze. Uh, yeah, for the more, you know, euphoric uh, and darker stuff. Yeah. And, um, you know, with, with doing Santa Van Dorn over the years, you know, it was a phenomenal ride. But at one point I felt I, I really want to go back to those old roots where, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I could put a lot of, you know, feeling and passion into a track. Yeah. And that's why I decided uh, at one point I'm, I'm going to kind of do Purple Haze. And yeah. um, I'm going to make it a live uh, thing as well. And, Yes, the, the journey has been phenomenal. I'm always curious how the artists feel. Is it to do maybe an alias or something? Is it more about the fans and not wanting to go a completely different route under the name they're used no. to music? Or oh, is it no. just to make it a little more exciting for yeah, you as for, well? For me, for me personally, yeah. yeah, definitely. And the fans, you know, they were really excited as well. Right. Uh, 
Uh, I, I discovered I had a lot of dormant fans from, from back in the age when I produced yeah. more trancy tracks. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, you know, they all woke up. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really cool to see. I'm glad to know that it's a little bit more for you as an artist because yeah. I personally feel as fans, if you can't let an artist that you enjoy experiment, then are you really their fan? Exactly. exactly. Right? You know, it's, so. uh, I have a really, really cool fan base that are really open for a different, uh, you know, my different you know, genres that I produce and uh, uh, they, they are very open-minded and, uh, you know, and they definitely love what I'm doing right now. Yeah. With Purple Haze. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, in man. your um, recap video that you posted on your Instagram, yeah. you teased a new song. Yeah, it yeah, sounds yeah, incredible yeah, yeah. just from the little clip. Yeah, um, yeah. Can you give us maybe when you'll release the name? Or? Oh, it's going to be, uh, be very soon, actually. Very, uh, soon. Yeah, very soon. You heard yeah, it yeah. here. <laughs> very soon. Very soon. <laughs> the yeah. nice, ambiguous yeah. answer. No. I love it. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, Honestly, I'm very excited for the new track and everything yeah. else that you have cool. coming Thanks. up. And congratulations on being a new dad. Yeah, That's sure. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much Cheers. for Mix 24-7 EDM. I'm Santina Muren with Sander Van Doren. Yes. Thank you. Cheers.